Back from the brink. In March 2015, Misha Zverev had almost dropped out of the Emirates ATP rankings. But 2016 saw the talented German rise again. I'm very, very happy. It's been like, what is it, five years since, uh, since I've seen myself in the top 100. Last season was critical to Misha's career. He reached a second ATP World Tour Masters 1000 quarterfinal in Shanghai, pushing Novak Djokovic to three sets. It surprised many in the tennis world, and even Misha himself. The last time was in 2009, so it's really been a long time. And, you know, most people say, like, look, you maybe never going to get back to that, you know, ranking or to that level of play that you had back then. I said, no, I think I can still do this. I think I, think I can still play well and work hard. And I kind of proved it to myself. It was an amazing feeling. It has not been an easy journey, with doubts over injury, testing Misha's resolve to the limit. I think the lowest I've been was two and a half years ago. I think I dropped to 1,100 in the world. I had bottom when, when I had wrist surgery in 2014. And at some point, I was, I was there. I couldn't even hold a racket. And I was at home. I was like, I have nothing to do. And I actually started traveling with a couple like 18, 19 year olds who were like friends of the family. And they were playing futures. And I wanted to stay in, in the tennis world. And I realized after a while that like I miss playing myself. All those things really helped me to, you know, just realize how nice tennis is, how important it is to me, how much I miss it when I'm injured, and all those things really made me work even harder. Help has always been at hand. Misha's close-knit family have been, quite literally, behind him all the way. <laughs> He's not sorry at all. <laughs> Younger brother and next-gen player Sasha Zverev's star has soared in the past two years, but he's never lost sight of the challenge facing his brother. Yeah, I'm very happy for my brother to be back top 100, you know. His, his journey was not easy. You know, I'm, I'm sure he's on a good way back and I think, uh, you know, maybe a new career at uh, high ranking will be in charge next year. He's, he's been obviously doing really well in the last couple of years. You know, in his mind, like, he's, he said, no, you're not quitting tennis, you're gonna play as long as I play. And, and then the other day I said as a joke, you know, I'm gonna quit the day you quit, because uh, I, I wouldn't want him to travel by himself and me sitting at home doing nothing, and I enjoy traveling and practicing with him, so I said I'm gonna play as long as you try to play. The Zverev's love of the sport shines through, but tennis is not Misha's only pastime. He's also a pilot. It's something I really enjoy and love, and I've, I've, I've always been fascinated with airplanes and all the aerodynamics. Because I wasn't doing so well on court, I tried to like do something off the court that was really fun to me, and that was, you know, I've, I found this passion that I have for airplanes, and I wanted to just maybe fly and then not doing off season. But now I say, you know, it's only going to distract me, so maybe I'll do it after my career. So for now, I just want to focus on tennis. Hoping to take off smoothly this year, the reinvigorated Misha Zverev. I want to beat my best. Uh, best ranking. So I was I was ranked 45 2009. I wanna I wanna be at least 44 one day. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're down under for the action in Sydney and Auckland. And he's a gentleman of American tennis and a talent in singles and doubles. We meet Jack Sock. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.